He is the most talked about man in poker, definitely the most chatted about, and probably uh, the most abused in certain circles. And we have the exclusive here, Luke Full Flush Schwartz. Luke, I mean, all this publicity, there's been actually a lot more good than bad, hasn't there? Yeah, I said rules that um, yeah, more good than bad for sure. And I mean, do do you are are you do you read all this forum stuff, everything that goes on? <clears throat> I don't read it too much. Sometimes um, some people just send me some links or whatever, and I'll have a little read. But what, what what do you think came first? Did it start because you were winning a lot of money on the internet, or did it all start because sometimes you say a lot of things in the chat? Um, I think it started when when I started winning on full tilt. Obviously, I was winning a lot of money, like in two thousand and eight. But then when I came to full, full tilt in 2009, I won a lot of money then. And that's when people started asking questions. Who, who resented you that you remember straight away of the players? Um, well, I started at 2550. Um, I mean, they all resented me because I won like 400k at 2550 just in the first three weeks or something. So I don't think I had any friends. <laughs> that's for sure. What, what were they saying about you? Yeah, they were calling me super user and all sorts of stuff. They thought it was unreal how I could just fold when they had the nuts and always have the nuts when they were bluffing, sort of thing. So that's what they were saying at first. Then obviously when I started moving up stakes and getting more confident, I was giving a bit of their mouth. And then like uh, Dang Brothers, you're in danger. Yeah, they came a bit later. Yeah. I actually wasn't really rude to anyone until until that little episode with them, but yeah. I've like everyone says, "Oh, I'm so rude to everyone," but like the only people I've really harassed is Dar and his little crew and the Jay Rosencrantz kid, yeah. And like to be fair, Dar and you're in danger of trying to five way share action against me on a table, all writing in the chat box, "Stay full flush, stay, please stay," yeah, and all this. So they're provoking me in the first place to do it. And Rosencrantz, he knows when my chat, when I played him in the summer about three months ago, he knew I had chat ban. He's just giving it all the time in the chat. So I thought the second I get my chat back, I'm going to annihilate <laughs> him, obviously. Yeah? So that's it. Two guys I was a little bit rude to. It wasn't like I fucking killed anyone or anything like that. What, what's the worst thing you've ever typed in, in chat, do you think? I don't know. Um, I said a few bad things to that guy. Maybe I was a bit, <coughs> a bit too rude, but he pissed me off a couple of months ago. And I'm just when I. I just retaliated. Well, this, this Rosencrantz, I think he said in this chat, he said that there's no way that you can be classed among the 10 best no limit heads up players in the world. What do you think about that? Yeah, he's an obvious hater, isn't he? Yeah. Like, I haven't lost to anyone no limit. On, everyone thinks full tilt is all that matters, right? So if I haven't lost to anyone no limits heads up on full tilt, yeah, let alone what I've done to the European sites, yeah, how can I not be in the top 10 best NL players in the in the world, let alone the top three. Well, it seems among the very big players, they all they all do respect you. But what what is it you think that 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 makes you good? I mean, when you're playing guys at 25, 50, 50, 100, are you aware of mistakes they're making? Um, you, the thing is, is that a lot of the time, whoever's playing the most is going to be playing the best. So you could see someone like Lars Luzak playing 200, 400 NL, I could play him, with him and he might make a mistake just because he's out of practice slightly, yeah. no limit, yeah? But then I could go down and play love the WNBA, Isaac Haxton, yeah? At 2550 or 50, 100, and he will never make a mistake. That's because that's all he's been playing. So it's really who's like who's in um, practice, or what's the word? Who's in, um, who's in form. Who's, who's in form, really, yeah. yeah. So it's not like, oh, the 2550 guys make loads of mistakes and the 500,000 guys never make a mistake because that's not true. Some, a lot of the 2550 and 51 players are just as good as some of the 500,000 players. Like Poker Bluffs and Benjamin, they're no, they're no good holding players. So well, when they're you, making mistakes all the time. Yeah, well, there's just Benjamin, he plays lots of different games? or No, I'm saying in NL, you know. you're saying, like, oh, you can tell when a 2550 player right. is making a mistake. I don't even notice it too much there. I notice it more when I watch David Benjamin play NL, that he's making mistakes, and Poker Blast is making mistakes, and King of Cards is making mistakes, people like that. So do you think there gets to be a point where there's a guy who you're just, you're not going to beat him, he's not going to beat you, or is the best player going to win? Um, well, if you've just if you both got enough rolls, then the best player's going to win. If you both got enough to take the the swings and the variance and that, then the best player will come out on top. 
I think that um, No Limits definitely the No Limit Heads Up is the best game of skill in terms of poker. I think a lot of the other games are more luck um, orientated. And uh, yeah. So I mean, assuming an unlimited role, could you beat anybody? Yeah, think? I would beat anybody. Yeah. Who's gonna come? Who Who's the guy who um, you've seen? It's not gonna be Duh. Um, it might be. It might be Love the WNBA. He's pretty good. It might be. It might be Flip Poker. See these, t those two guys. No one's even heard of them, and they're like they're just 25, 50, 51 players. But they're, they're in my mind, they're some of the best NL heads up players. Where what is it about your game right now that's that's the best facet? Um, I don't really want to give too many secrets <laughs> about my game, so I'm just gonna not not say really. Um, you've got a you got a lot of compliments. You've been playing on TV lately, mm. and not just the people who've been watching, but the people, the big players. They have a lot of compliments for your game. Yeah. Does that do you care about that? Um, I think when you sort of realize in yourself that you're good, it doesn't really matter too much what people think of you, as long as you're winning and making money out of it. It doesn't really matter too much. So, since I'm, I don't really care what people think, and since about 2008 in the poker world, I've just been winning since then. So since then, I couldn't care less what. Now, says. I mean, I've read some of this chat stuff that you type in, and. I actually, when I read it and see these things, I can't decide myself if you're actually angry when you're sitting there writing it, or if you're laughing your head off. Mm. Um, it depends, isn't it? It's the, everyone says, oh, you you just chat in every session or something. It's not really like that. Ooh, if someone winds me up, I'm going to give it back to them, as simple as that. Or if I take some ridiculous beats and my mouth off to the full tilt guy, say, oh, what a rig sight or something like that. But it's not like I'm just like, get four tables going and just start chatting for no reason versus <laughs> any old that? guy. Who does that? Exactly. I'm only going to do it if someone's wound me up, obviously. Now, do you think it's fair to say you've got kind of a, a, a temper? Um, yeah, I think that's fair. Yeah. I used to be quite hot-headed when I was younger and stuff. Um, did you ever get in any fights? Um, I got in a few fights as a teenager, um, maybe a couple since, but I've been keeping it. Keeping it good, really. So, what gets you upset at at the poker table? Is it losing, or is it something else? It's probably bad beats is the most upsetting. When you outplay someone, you do everything right, but then it doesn't work out how you planned it because of the river or the turn. And I mean, I mean do you just do you kind of lose control? Um, do you tilt? I don't really tilt either. I'm quite good with that. So as I said, I used to tilt when I was like. I've been playing poker about five years now, and I used to always just tilt off so much. So any time I feel like I'm tilting, I just usually just come off. If I'm playing online, I just stop playing.